What's going on, guys? Bengal here, coming off a recent victory over the Washington Commanders, and we have a breakout development challenge that I accidentally clicked at the end of the last episode moments ago as I record this, maybe a day or two after you guys saw that. But Dontrell Cobb says, Coach, I gotta commend you on the game plan last week. The front seven absolutely dominated their blockers, and it was one of the best performances I've ever had. Well, you're a rookie, so that you could say that every week. Anyway, if I can put together another game like that against the Vikes, it'll go a long way toward establishing me as a leader on this team. I agree. He had a huge game. And if we hold the Vikings to less than 250 total yards, or Dontrell Cobb gets one of the following, an interception, a forced fumble, a tackle for loss, or a sack, he gets star dev. That would be big. We know Dontrell Cobb is a 73 overall. He's actually very close to going uh, and getting an upgrade here. I think if he gets star dev in XP, he's going to go up probably to a 75 overall following this game. If things go well, 90 speed. Tackling could be better, but block shed really is what stands out to me is something I'd like to be a lot better on him. But he's a good player, and star dev would go a long way. He would also go a long way on another player. The rookie quarterback, another first round pick, Cody Bailey and coach. Cody Bailey is coming off a stellar game. Is he in the process of taking the next step? I think we saw it last week. I think so. I think we know what he can do. And coach agrees, which is me, Gene Dangus. I definitely think so. He's put in a lot of work to get where he's at, which first of all, I would never speak like that. I would say I, I, where he's at sounds so stupid. Anyway, uh, throw one or fewer interceptions. Oh, no. <laughs> and have 300 scrimmage yards or three total touchdowns with Cody Bailey to increase his depth trade to star. So I think it still one or fewer interceptions applies, but we still have to get a lot of yards with him. Oh, no. All right. We'll do what we can. We'll try. Uh, no promises. Now, there are some players who are up to 45% now. Uh, I don't think we had that on the last one. Maybe we did. Uh, some of these players, though, ooh, interesting. Not that we would take a receiver, although we would consider it probably, but not in the first round. Larry Smith was a third or second round pick. Probably wouldn't take receiver, but B medium route running, A spectacular catch is interesting for a playmaker, but it's probably like Kadarius Tony, And we already have Kadarius Tony, so no need to draft another one. I know you probably know at this point, but if you don't, these are my Felix Gray blue light filtering glasses. You see me wear these in videos, but I especially wear them at night when I'm editing or watching TV because these screens that we're all so accustomed to using, whether it's a TV, a phone, a computer monitor, they emit harmful blue light that really can make you stay up longer than you want to and not getting as restful sleep, which is so important to success. Felix Gray is especially cool because they filter up to 15 times more blue light than competitors. And if you wear regular glasses, you can get your prescription put right in. And since I've been wearing wearing these for over a year now, I'm noticing I'm sleeping so much better than I was normally. It was taking me sometimes hours to get to sleep. And I really, I would not wear them and I wouldn't say it if I didn't think it were true. So if you want to sleep better, if you're tired of the eye strain, check out Felix Gray. The link is down in the description, getfelixgray.com. I'm quite partial to the hopper style in the Seneca Mist colorway, but if these don't suit your fancy, there are a bunch of different options on the website you can check out. So make sure to filter out that harmful blue light, sleep better, get more rest, get to sleep faster, at least in my experience. So go down to the description. It's getfelixgray.com slash bangle. Make sure to use promo code bangle10 for a discount. And thank you to Felix Gray for sponsoring the video. We do have staff points as well, 23 of them to be exact. And what do we have here for Coach Dangus? This is player growth, which I do want to focus on at some point, but we're going to go offensive coordinator. And impact blocking for receivers could be big. I really want to get to strength of the offensive lineman. So we're going to have to wait on that. Need more staff points. For player health, I'm, I know the overall fatigue could be 100%, which is good. That's where you want it to be. I'm going to go half pads anyway. We split it last week. I want to keep these guys healthy. And we'll defend outside run. I think that's worked well in the past. Eric Kendricks, their big top throw out in defense, has, has superstar X Factor. What do we do that was so effective last week? We start out with blitz counter, which is like good in the first half. And then I switched to run inside. We still really couldn't run the ball. I'm going to start with run inside and we'll take it from there. And I'll also go half pads for these starters as well. Score five rushing touchdowns is such a crazy goal to 
auto start with. Uh, their offensive line isn't great. Maybe we could get five sacks, although that's quite a lot still. But I'm going to go two plus passing touchdowns. Cody Bailey's our focus today. Allow 30 points or less. We're going to need at least 300 offensive yards. And with Saquon, we'll probably get 350 and win the turnover battle. I can't throw interceptions today. Can't do it. Cannot do it. All right. Looks like no injuries on offense. Perfect. And defense. Hoping those guys are healthy as well. And they are. Excellent. The trade offers for Kenny Galladay. It's just Gus Bus. Gus Edwards from the Ravens. Nope. Now we do have multiple second round picks. What if I what if I added one of those into a potential Kenny Galladay trade? Dax Hill. Oh wow. That's intriguing. That's really, really intriguing. Allen Robinson, Avante Maddox, Adafe Owe, Sterling Shepard, we could bring him back. Now, the reason I hesitate to trade for Dax Hill is he was a first round pick uh, in, or two drafts ago now in this league, right? Now, the reason I wouldn't hesitate, the reason I think it is somewhat realistic and plausible is Jesse Bates is still in Cincinnati here. Superstar dev, 26 years old. In this, he's not going anywhere. And in real life, Dax Hill is also not playing. He's got the day one starter tag. Only normal development makes me hesitate. Dax Hill was one of my favorite players uh, in the draft this past year in real life. I loved him as a player. I thought he was awesome. I even think he can play boundary corner if he has to. He can do anything in the secondary. He's kind of like uh, a bigger Trent McDuffie in that way. But whereas I like Dax Hill more as a single high over top plus slot corner, I prefer Trent McDuffie as a slot slash boundary. But Dax Hill is good. But there are good safeties in the draft too. I don't think I would I would do that trade. But I do like it. If he had star dev, it would be tough to say no to. Now the problem with trading Kenny Galladay is very few teams in the league can actually even afford him. The Ravens are one of the few that can. And with a big need at wide receiver, trying to get some guys for Lamar Jackson, Kenny Galladay would be an immediate starter for them. Yes, Rashad Bateman, Devin DuVernay is pretty good. Kenny Galladay would be the second highest rated receiver. And Deontay Hardy, now Deontay Hardy, is a return man. So I think this is a pretty good destination. Will Kenny Galladay and a second get me a first from the Ravens? And keep in mind, the Ravens could end up being a lot better than projected number 13. I'm going to offer it though, and it's not close. The Bears are another team that can afford him, but their interest is less. But they're going to take them. Projected right now to go to the Super Bowl. The Bears need help at receiver badly. And now in back-to-back -back years, we have made trades sending receivers to the NFC North. Last year, Sterling Shepard to the Packers. This year, Kenny Galladay in a second round pick. I believe that's from Oakland. I think, or from Las Vegas. Jeez. I think that's the Raiders second round pick. So it's going to be Kenny Galladay in a second to the Bears for projected number 31. So right now, as it looks, we're moving up about 20 spots. But let's check out our opponents for today's game. It's the Minnesota Vikings. We've seen them before, but Kirk Cousins will be the starting quarterback, of course. Dalvin Cook, Kenyon Drake now with the team. CJ Ham, the fullback. Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, Alan Lazard now with the team. Mike Parrish, the rookie receiver. We'll see what his playing time looks like. Doesn't seem like he's really playing a ton, but the speed is obviously electric. He was a top 10 pick in the draft, and he kind of looks fairly similar to Larry Smith. Tight end is Big Bob, Robert Tunyon. Are they just poaching receivers from the Packers? Alan Lazard, now Robert Tunyon. They have OJ Howard as well. I don't know where Irv Smith Jr. is, but Christian Darrisaw starts at left tackle. Ezra Cleveland, Connor McGovern, Ed Ingram, and Brian O'Neill left to right, which is quite good. Left end is going to be Harrison Phillips. This is going to be a 3-4 setup with Samson Ebukam, who's not really the same type of end that Harrison Phillips is, but all right. D-tackle is Dalvin Tomlinson with the rookie Benji Stewart at Louisville in there. Daniil Hunter is a rush linebacker. Eric Kendricks and Brian Asamoa playing off ball. Right outside linebacker is still Zaria Smith, another rush end with Jason Verrett as CB1. Andrew Booth Jr., of course, will be the other starting corner. Cam Dantzler, I imagine, will play quite a bit. Harrison Hand, probably as well. Free safety is Lewis Seen, who's up to superstar development. Might see Cam Bynum today as well. 
Big speed, big hit power, obviously, can fly around the field. Coverage may be a bit of a question, and their strong safety, of course, is still Harrison Smith. So even though their corners aren't the best, they're not bad either, and this is not going to be the easiest defense to score on, I don't think. Odell Beckham Jr., a big reason last week while we were able to... Uh, to score as many points as we did, which was like what, tw like 31 with like eight field goals. <laughs> but he played he played really well. Gonna need him to have a big game today. This Vikings team is quite good. We're here at US Bank Stadium in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And we will start by kicking off Wyatt Anthony, the superstar. Will kick and we are underway. New slider set, as I mentioned in the previous episode is Matt 10. You can Google it, you can look it up, and you can find out the way to implement them. It has to be done from the main menu, and then reset, and then put into the franchise menu. And apparently penalties really, really, really matter for it. As we check out Kirk Cousins. Over 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns, to 6 interceptions. Having a pretty decent season so far. And Kirk Cousins and the Vikings will take over after the touchback from the 25. Remember, Dontrell Cobb. Needs one of the following, a tackle for loss, a sack, an interception, or a forced fumble to get up to star development. As much as we want to win, that is our focus on defense, and our focus on offense is for Cody Bailey to not throw any interceptions. I know, easier said than done. And um, also, for him to go over 300 yards from scrimmage. Football came loose! It's recovered by Joe Hayden! Boy, did that catch me off guard. Big hit. I need to take a second look. Was it Alan Lazard who put the ball on the ground? I was waiting for Kirk Cousins to check down there. Ends up going down the field a little bit more to Lazard. And it was a huge hit from Xavier McKinney that jarred the football loose. And Cody Bailey, just like that, will take the field. A little bit earlier than we were expecting. But I'm not complaining. His numbers are starting to look a little bit better. Yes, I know, eight touchdowns, 14 picks, looks ugly. We're working on it. We are working on it. And I want to amend that, by the way. I thought I may have made a mistake. Yes, Xavier McKinney hit him first, but it was big play Darnay who jarred the football loose. So shout out Darnay Holmes for the forced fumble. I mean, this guy's unbelievable. Going to have to avoid Eric Kendricks today. That's really the, the sick cover linebacker that they have. We got Nick Duvall. He can outrun him. Still going to run the ball a lot today, though. I have high hopes, high expectations. Check down. How are you getting back to make that play? Give me a break. I'm like, I'm so worried. I'm, I'm so afraid to throw an interception that I'm, I'm freaking out. But you know what they say, scared money don't make money. Third and ten. See what we can do. Inside lead. It's Nick Duvall. Good throw from Bailey. It's a first down. It's the only guy I can throw to is the tight end, Nick Duvall, and Jaden Rhodes when he's on the field as well. Both those guys play quite a bit. It's a good ball up the seam. Nick Duvall just fast. Jaden Rhodes, give me a good block here. Trying to follow him. Ah, just couldn't do it. I think we could still run the ball on this, though. There's Saquon. Good cutback and a first down for the Giants. That is Saquon's 86th attempt of the year. Is that a lot? I don't think it's too crazy, but it's definitely not a small amount. 86 attempts at the beginning of what, game six? I wanna say, yeah, we're two and three. So this would be game six. Ooh, this would be a, a nice little way to get yardage. A little touch pass to Odell, and I think this is the perfect defense to run this on. There's Odell, there we go! Larry Smith with a block, and it's an Odell Beckham Jr. touchdown! Jet touch pass success. Great block. Nick Duvall with a great block. Larry Smith with a great block. That was just poetry in motion from this offense. Everybody doing their job. Everybody making a big play like that happen. That is super fun. Let's take another look. Odell obviously going to come in motion. And it's Nick Duvall who just gives us this big hole. Evan Neal blocked for just long enough. Saquon got up there too. Um... But Odell with just enough speed to outrun the outstretched Daniil Hunter. Uh, and then Larry Smith blocked for long enough. We got past him. Larry Smith keeps blocking up the field. And that is maybe my favorite touchdown of the entire series. Let's play action. Under pressure and sacked is Kirk Cousins. It's Julian Love. Sending heat. 
Working to perfection. Look how many guys we have rushing the quarterback. Somebody got home. It was Julian Love. Interception, tackle for loss, force fumble, sack. One of those from Dontrell Cobb. Look at Tay Crowder making a play. He still plays. He just really... There hasn't been a ton for me to shout out with Tay Crowder this season, uh, unfortunately. He really hasn't been super involved. We're going to show Blitz with McKinney. Back up. Going sideline. Jackson! I mean, decent defense, but Lazard just goes up and gets it, man. Adoree Jackson just good, but not quite good enough. Yeah, it's a good route. It's a good route. Maybe you had to carry that more. We had the mid-read. Probably should have run with that. No, 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 no. Oh, Dalvin Cook. Good stuff. Look at Kayvon Thibodeau making a play, though. Second and three. It's going to be a run. Dontrell Cobb was in the backfield. I don't know if he got it. Third and three. Jefferson in the backfield. We have to be aware of that. I'm going to take care of it. Cover him. Dude, what are you doing, Darnay? You're just watching him catch that? Come on, man. Should we blitz Cooper? We might just read it, see what happens. First and ten. Cooper getting over there. Dontrell Cobb can't wrap up. Somebody tackle him. Thank you. Xavier McKinney probably going to get credit for that tackle for loss. Uh, Cobb got in there first. I mean, forced a bad play to happen, but you got to finish the play. Have to be able to finish the play. That was a really nice play as well. Dalvin Cook tried to cut back. Kayvon Thibodeau right there. Dontrell Cobb helping out as well. Uh, running a lot of man covers to start here, but I think that's all right. It's third and 11. Might show Blitz again. Back up. Going to the end zone. That ball's intercepted by Xavier McKinney. We got blockers. Darnay Holmes did not block. That was maybe a mistake. I thought Darnay Holmes was going to hold the block for more than a second. I, I know he's not a blocker, but guess what? The tackler isn't a defensive player. Uh, but big interception, though. And we need to get off the back of our own goal line. Would have been better to just go down to the end zone, but I thought we'd be able to return for like, you know, 30 or 40 yards, potentially. Beckham Jr. in motion. We'll probably just run the ball here. And was hoping for blockers. I mean, they're going double mug again. Can we switch this? Run that to the wide side of the field. Harrison Smith coming up, but he's not very fast. We're going to have to snap this instantly. Odell's going to come in motion. We scored a touchdown on it. <laughs> they were ready for it. Daniil Hunter cracking Odell Beckham Jr. And who knows, if we, if we took the touchback, might be in a much better situation right now. Instead... After the turnover, we punt the football right back. It's going to be a good punt. It's returnable, though. Broken tackle by the rookie, Parrish. And I think he's going to bring that back into Giants territory. Run up the middle. Leonard Williams there. Dontrell Cobb is there. He's thrown off. Did Dontrell Cobb forget how to tackle today? He says, you know what? I had the best game of my pro career. I now could not tackle. It's credit for the tackle, to be fair. But you know, let's be honest, man. That... That wasn't him. Check down. They're throwing deep. That's a mismatch. That's a mismatch. Mismatch. Joe Hayden, man. He just... I know he just retired in real life, by the way. Maybe he should retire in the game because he can't run with Adam Thielen. That's a problem. Great receiver, but great ball from Cousins. Joe Hayden just couldn't run with him. All right, tie game. Minnesota has nearly... Or I think actually more. Do they have 138? Do we have 66? A double our, our yard so far. That is the end of the first quarter. Again, as I mentioned, the Vikings have more than double our offensive output so far. It is early, but we want to change that. And we should with this drive. We're going to step up with Bailey. We're going to throw on the run. You know what? That's okay. Uh, could have been a lot worse of a result. And Larry Smith, by the way, the rookie, is playing today. See him out wide. He's got electric speed. If we can have time, he might get a target. We're not going to have time. Yeah, we, Daniil Hunter won the edge pretty quickly. We'll take the sack and punt. Dude, they only rushed four, and it felt like they had sent seven. <laughs> Daniil Hunter is a game wrecker, man. Evan Neal is just not ready yet. Not ready. Let's play action. Oh, my goodness. We couldn't get there with Cobb. And the pass is actually dropped by Adam Thielen. A rare drop. I wonder if... Dory Jackson being in close proximity had anything to do with that. Really would have been nice to finish that play with the uh, with the sack, though. Dory Jackson, uh, just a horrific angle. Julian Love doing the same. <laughs> if I don't switch on and do the exact right thing with them, 
it, it, it's a huge gain. The CPU pursuit angles are vicious. And I guess that would be the pursuit rating. But that was horrible from Midori Jackson. That was so bad. Oh my goodness, it's a little little sweep. Wasn't ready for jet sweep there. I don't they they caught me so off guard. Usually I'm pretty hip to those things. Did not catch on. That's gonna be a big run by Dalvin Cook. Oh, this is a touchdown coming up. This is when we can get a TFL here. Run commit middle. It's a pitch outside. Broken tackle and Tay Crowder wraps up. Big TFL for Tay Crowder. Dontrell Cobb right up the middle, and he can't bring him down. Cook is still going. Eventually we'll lose two, but Dontrell Cobb on the blitz, by the way, screaming up the middle of the field and just cannot bring Dalvin Cook down one-on-one. -on -one. Too tough of a runner. That was Star Dev right there. Third and goal. Where's Cousins going with it? Just throwing it away. They'll take the field goal, take their points, go up by three. Kick is up and right down the middle. 10-0 Minnesota. Larry Smith returning kicks. Might put Wandell Robinson on it. As I say that, Larry Smith finds the edge. Smith down the sideline. Says, no, I'm the kick returner. And the rookie has housed it. First touchdown of his career is on a kick return. Larry Smith. Touchdown, 98 speed on full display. Make a play, Larry Smith. That was beautiful. Kickoff return, touchdown, and we've stolen the lead right back. Cooper, oh my goodness, is play action. Oh, we were hunting. Oh, I mean, Dalvin Cook just got his head taken off. We might have to go to replay mode for that. Uh, great play action, great play action fake. I thought Cook had the ball for sure. Derek Cooper, I mean, just took his head off. He didn't go down. That would have been a huge TFL if we knew Kirk Cousins had the football. Just great fake, even with the uh, the bump in there. Receiver coming in motion. Should we, we should we be concerned about that? It's just just play action. Joe Hayden forces the football out. Aziz Ojolari gonna recover. Aziz is in a foot race with Connor McGovern, who won't stand a chance. Fumble recovery, touchdown for Aziz Ojolari, and it all started from Joe Hayden. He got burned earlier for a touchdown. Adam Thielen just said, hey, you can't hang anymore. And he was right. Joe Hayden, though, getting those points right back. Forced the fumble on Cousins. That football is out. Aziz Ojolari right there to pick it up and return it for a touchdown. Beautiful. And it's 21 to 10 Giants. Run left. They have blockers, man. They got blockers. Okay, that's that's on me. I guess I expected a different angle. Julian, I, I don't. What are the? I don't understand the angles. Dalvin Cook, long touchdown. I'm expecting us to continue the line, but it's it, it it. I don't know if it's like a speed change or I'm completely misjudging it, but I feel like the direction I'm holding is not consistent with what we actually get. Absolutely, could have been user error, but I. I really thought we were on a fine line until he like curved down. Just like that, Minnesota right back in it. That would have been a cool move. Back on offense, really frustrated to allow that long touchdown. Really frustrated. Good run from Saquon though, getting fancy. But remember, we need Cody Bailey to have a game. That's the biggest focus here. Him getting star dev is a difference maker. Poor accuracy bullet pass. I tried to get it out earlier and then we I pump faked accidentally. And then, uh, I mean, ended up throwing it to him anyway. It did not work. Duval, good catch in traffic. That's not an easy catch. Safety came down screaming. It was Lewis Seen. Second and three. I think Larry Smith is going to be a difference maker for this offense. 99 speed is just huge. But we're going to run the look at the pancake from Duval. Bailey's still going. Vanilla Vic, Cody Bailey. Merch link is in the description. Are you interested in Vanilla Vic merchandise? Well, we got Cody Bailey now, so it's fitting. What a run. And we tried to slide, but then he just didn't. Play action safety coming down, or, or rotating over. Working off play action. A little check down. Not even close to Jaden Rhodes, the intended receiver. Not even close. 
Oh, Larry Smith was burning him. That was all I was watching. Flaherty gets into the backfield, gets the sack. He was a rookie we were looking at in the draft. Didn't end up taking him, and now he's making us pay. Third and long. Are they going to rush five here? They're not. Don't know where to go with it. Let's try to take off and sack by Harrison Phillips. 67-yard field goal for Wyatt Anthony here. Is it possible that we could hit this? There's no wind. We're from midfield. Going to give Wyatt Anthony the chance. 67-yarder. For the NFL record. Kick is up. On a line. And short. Now we know. He can't drill from 67. Not that far away, though. But just didn't quite have the leg. I'd rather attempt the field goal to find out in that spot, though, than punt. Because we might... Oh, 20 yards of field positioning versus the information, which is invaluable. Cousins is going to check down to Cook. Second and three. We're going to try and scream up the middle here with Cobb. Nope. Just kidding. It's going to be a dump out quickly to Cook. Tried to force a fumble. <laughs> the only thing you question about the field goal over the punt choice is the time left on the clock, but I think they have enough time to move down the field. Anyway, they're going deep. Adam Thielen's putting on a clinic today. Moss is Darnay Holmes. I went for the SWAT. Just got out of position, I guess. And uh, man, Adam Thielen, man, playing well today. Playing really well. Cousins, a little bit under pressure. Just 50-50 ball that Adam Thielen has been turning into 100-0 balls. We don't even have a chance to make a play on him. First and 10, a minute and 15 to play here in the first half. We're going to throw for Odell. Just can't get it to him. We just need half a second more on so many different throws. And it's so frustrating to see it the whole way. They rush four, and we just, by this much, don't have enough time to make the... Uh, correct, right? It's intercepted. Ah! Why are you playing underneath? Jason Verrett, pick six. That's the last interception we can throw today. That's the last one. Every time I, th I try to throw quickly, I regret it. Every time I hold the ball for too long, I regret it in a different way. I got to hold the ball for longer. No more interceptions. That's our one. That's our one. Oh, God, man, why do I always do that crap? We're going to try to get a drive going before the, uh, the end of the half here. Big stiff arm from Nick Duvall. Only 71 yards passing for Cody Bailey right now. It's just not enough to get star dev. We're going down the field. It's Duvall. Oh, nearly caught by Odell off the tip. If the throw was better, it's a touchdown. And we're sacked. Ah, gosh. Minnesota going to try a field goal from the 45 here to end the half. Polk has the accuracy. Does not have the leg. That's the end of the first half. We're down by 10. Uh, I thought we were playing a pretty good game. Really frustrated with how it went down line. It was the pick six that's really the difference in the game right now, despite being down 10. Uh, that's the big momentum shifter, because if we go down, even get a field goal, it's tied. Get a touchdown, obviously, and, um, and we're winning. So, difference in the game right now is just, uh, I don't know, man. Just, just the one mistake. We'll get the football to start the second half. Play better. That's it. Play better. We need a little momentum back, man. That's another big problem. Screen shaking. Oh, jeez. Third and 11. We step up. Nope. I forget. I always forget. When it looks wide open, nine, nine, nine times out of ten, you can't actually step up. We'll punt. Oh, jeez. We need a momentum shifter. That's what it is right now. Momentum is so impactful in this game. You gotta have it. I mean, every time we go out and we call a pass play, the CPU knows the route of our number one receiver. That's a problem. That's a big issue. That's going to be a broken tackle. Thielen down the sideline. Adam Thielen going to win the race. Touchdown, Adam Thielen. <sighs> okay, I mean, guess what? Man coverage, you don't tackle. That happens. Just like that, it's 38-21. We are not playing better. That's it. I say play better, we play worse. Nick Duvall can't hear uh, the route change. 
So, that sucks for us. Okay, no one can catch. I know these are not easy catches, but catch the ball, please. Saquon can't hear. I'm, I'm saying block. I'm right next to you. Block. Please. A little check down. Jaden Rhodes. You got to get the first. We didn't get it. Third and one. It's four down territory already. Saquon up the middle. There we go. There we go. Saquon, one of his longest runs of the game. Nine rushes for 38 yards. It's been rough. We're getting a little momentum back, though. That's a really good quick throw to Odell. Going deep. No sh no chance. We got to get we got to get momentum back, man. There we go. There's Odell. Good block from Saquon. Odell's still going. Broken tackle. That's a momentum shifter. It's minor, but it's big for me. Big for this offense. Saquon, good run. Now, we still can't hear especially Duval. Seems like he cannot hear anytime I want to hot route him. Doesn't matter. He's like, I'm going to run the best route for me. That's a drag, and it's a first down. Hurry up. Quick snap. Kadarius Tony. Good throw and touchdown. When I say good throw, I know it's not a challenging throw. It's just a dunk down short from check down Cody. But guess what? We've missed those throws before. We've missed the easy ones despite nearly 90 short throw accuracy. Under pressure, that's a good throw to Kadarius Tony. It's a touchdown. It's a 10-point game. We're in it. Just stop making mistakes. We're making them on offense, but we're especially making them on defense. We're getting destroyed. Also, I might consider 11-minute quarters. It's a change I'm considering. Dontrell Cobb, man, still has not done anything that we need him to do. He's just got shoved to the ground there. Oh, Lord. This is the portion of the game where they run the ball down our throat and we are helpless. Yeah, look at that. It's tough. Justin Jefferson, it's a touchdown. We don't have the angles. I, I, we don't have the angles. He's going to do the gritty and they got the touchdown right back. All the momentum right back. We are not out of this game yet. Our defense is hurting us right now, admittedly. Like a lot. But we're not out of it. We get that to Duval. It's overthrown. Oh, we're so lucky. Well, we're unlucky because he's open and we can't hit him. <laughs> we're lucky because it's not an interception off the unluck. So we're, maybe is that neutral? Does that cancel out? Odell, good route. Wow, great catch in traffic. That's, a, that's an awesome catch from Odell. Dragging across. There we go, Larry. Nice hard cut. I really want him to get more involved in this offense. He's going to play now that Kenny Galladay has been traded. And uh, hopefully he is electric. Second round pick. He was going to see the field eventually. Second and four. Ah, yep. Better, better to take the sack than throw a pick in that spot. No question. But the momentum is a killer. Third and 11. Kadarius, I need you to make a play. Broken tackle. It's four down territory, obviously. We're going for it. Fourth and inches. I need Duval to hear the play. I don't want you running a fade. A drag's going to work. They can know about it. I don't care. Nick Duval! It's a first down. Hurry up. Snap the ball. Snap the ball. Tony's uncovered. Kadarius Tony couldn't get it to him. We're trying it. It worked already in this game. Are they ready for it now? Odell in motion. Odell with speed, and he's going to walk in. Touchdown, Odell Beckham Jr. His second of the game. It's a 10-point game again, but hey, we need desperately to get a stop. So badly. Check down. This is the opportunity. Dontrell Cobb. Big TFL. Dontrell Cobb has been upgraded to star development. And also, it's a great way to end the third quarter. It's a great TFL. And, hey, follow it up in the fourth quarter. There's a lot of game left. Third and seven. It's a screen. And it's going to be an interception. Momentum shifted in Minneapolis. That's a star. Easy reads. The giving tree. And Kirk Cousins gave it right to the Don. 
Kiss the ring. Dontrell Cobb picks six. That is a momentum shifter. Dontrell Cobb putting us right back in this game. We needed a play like that. And now emphatically has star development. Adds an interception. It just flashed the stat that uh, Adam Thielen has 173 receiving yards and three touchdowns today. However, the momentum has been lost. Dontrell Cobb making a nice tackle. Leonard Williams in there as well. Dalvin Cook is another guy who's just... Did I call him Dalvin Thomas? I don't know what I said. Um, but it, we've just been dominated today by their best players. Forcing him back up the middle. Big hit by Kayvon Thibodeau. That's what we wanted to do. He's going to probably end up with 200 yards. That's okay. If we get the win, it doesn't matter. And yeah, it's a very high scoring affair. I mean, you might see 50 points from both offenses or both teams. Under pressure, down he goes. It's Aziz Ojolari. Kirk Cousins sacked again. Ojolari just doing a great job. Cousins tried to roll out right. Aziz right there. Right place, right time. Love it. Momentum has shifted in Minneapolis. Uh, also, we, we don't need three touchdowns necessarily. We just can't throw two interceptions. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think with three touchdowns, we have guaranteed uh, star dev for Cody Bailey. I think that's true. Oh, we're getting sacked. Harrison Phillips has three and a half. What are the odds of converting third and 19 here? Can't be good, but we might have done it. It's Nick Duvall. He's going to outrun Harrison Smith. And it's a Nick Duvall huge first down on third and long. The rookie out of Stanford loves to do the Macarena, loves to backflip, and loves to convert third downs. Awesome. Do they want us to pass here? They're faking it. They want us to pass. And we just got clotheslined by Mark Lewinsky. Yeah. Tr tried to juke back across it. Didn't really work the way I wanted. It is second and 11. Larry Smith. It's not bad. Third and four. There is a flag. Oh, God. What is this going to be? Most likely holding. Okay. It's going to be another third and long to convert. Third and 12. Unless they decline it, which they do. We can tie it with a field goal. Or we can continue to, uh, to do what we do and convert these third downs and fourth downs. And we're going to line up to go for it. Bailey's not getting under center. It's fourth and two. We snap the ball. It's a quick throw to Jaden Rhodes. And th this rookie has converted this fourth down. Nick Duvall in the previous third. Big time fourth down. We go to the other rookie tight end. He makes a really nice play. I like having multiple tight ends on the field here. And working off play action, we're going to look to hit one of them for sure. But Barkley's open. We're going to go to him instead. Can't make anybody miss, but it's a good gain. Up the middle. It's Barkley! And Saquon brings us down to the goal line. Saquon Barkley. Yeah, first down. I love it. Love the energy. Third and goal. I like Odell on this. They read it well. And we can't get it through. It's fourth and goal from the one. Goal line is stacked. You know what time it is. Sneaky. Cody. Cody Bailey, QB sneak, touchdown! And we take the lead in Minnesota! Cody Bailey, falling forward, getting the touchdown. Untouched, I don't know what they're doing on that line. Eric McCoy leading the way. I, th I guess they expected something else. QB sneak caught him off guard. You could see their actual, uh, actual play art there. The two interior defensive linemen were slanted outside. I guess preparing for a run wasn't wasn't QB sneak right up the middle. And it's 49-45 Giants in maybe our highest scoring game of the series. Kirk Cousins, 340 yards passing, four touchdowns. Our defense has to come up strong. Motion man. Oh, it's not a sweep. They faked this out because they ran that earlier. Yeah, their offense is going to be tough to stop. Dalvin Cook goes for over 200 on that touch. 
We're going to pinch our line. Our linebackers have to run and make plays. That's what it is. It's play action. It's not play action. Derek Cooper really bailing us out, making a nice tackle. Three minutes to play. Slant. We swallowed it up, and down goes Cousins. It's Kayvon Thibodeau. Kayvon Thibodeau screaming. Let's see it. He just disengages from Brian O'Neill and gets to the QB. Kirk holding the football too long. Thibodeau taking advantage. That's a really, really big play. I won't call it the play of the game, obviously, as we know a route on the field here, but it is a huge play nonetheless. Knowing the play is nice. Cousins, is he going to scramble? Cousins going to get sacked. He's just holding the football. Dexter Lawrence brings him down. We're not even screaming, as I said. That was our fifth sack, by the way. Um, it, Kirk is just holding the football for ages and giving us opportunities. Third and 24. Jefferson on a little swing there. They've changed the play. Jefferson no, no longer the primary receiver, but it's going to be intercepted by Dontrell Cobb. Kiss the ring. Easy reads. The cat in the hat. Dontrell Cobb, easy reads for the second time today. Cousins trying to loft it over him. And Cobb put his hands up. Unbelievable. Showing why he was a first-round pick out of Notre Dame. Maybe securing a victory here in Minneapolis against all odds. Under two minutes to play. Minnesota still with all of their timeouts, though. So this game is far from over. Ten-yard runs will help, though. Tell you that. Third down and six. We're going to leave in Barkley to block. I really think this play could work out really well for us. We're kind of forced to throw. I, Kadarius Tony could not have been more open. I, I know it. I know it. I saw him. I saw him, and I I just couldn't get to the button. I, I, I can't even explain that one for you. I put that on the field just in case I had to check down late to it. It was going to be the drag or the curl read, make Eric Kendricks make a decision. The problem is I... I just, I wrote it off, right? I'm like, okay, that's not open. We're not going to throw it. And then as I work back across the field, as Wyatt Anthony absolutely drills a huge field goal, massive field goal, uh, I just, I couldn't get to it. I, I had pretty much in my head already decided to throw to Larry Smith, and I just couldn't get back to it. But uh, that field goal, I, I probably am understating this with the way I reacted to it, but genuinely... That was make or break for the game here. We extended to a touchdown lead in Minnesota now with, with you know, no timeouts, even with Adam Thielen. Uh, under a minute to play, they're in a really rough spot. So we changed to cover three. We saw a streak on the field. We're now changing again. Thielen going to be in line at tight end. What? <laughs> Just wrap up. Just wrap up. Cousin throwing. Boundary! Thielen can't get his feet in. Just the seventh incompletion of the game for Kirk Cousins, and even fewer if you count the interceptions. We're going to blitz. Third and two. Yeah, yep, quick throw to Robert Tunyon, and he's faster than everybody. We're going to push him out. Uh, I like the idea of a blitz, but they got rid of the football really quickly. Throwing for Thielen. He can't haul it in. We're showing blitz. We're forcing them to change what they want to do. Jordan Hicks into the game. I don't know where Dontrell Cobb is. That's a little bit concerning. Just gave him too much space. Uh, clock's going to be ticking, though. 4-3. Uh, I'd love to get a timeout in there. That pass falls incomplete. Minnesota will have one play. One play for the game. One play for the game. End zone. Short. Jefferson. Down to the one. I couldn't get my adjustments in what I wanted to do on defense. Uh, it could have been really bad, but guess what? They come a yard short. The Giants end up getting a win, 52-45. I mean, unbelievable game here in Minnesota. Dontrell Cobb up to star dev. Cody Bailey up to star dev. And we win. Uh, wow. Crazy game. Cody Bailey goes for 253 and three touchdowns. Did have an interception in there as well. It's all right. We're not going to focus on Kirk. We had a bad game. Saquon ends up 
16 carries for 65 yards, no touchdowns, of course. Nick Duvall, eight catches for 94. Odell, seven for 83 and two touchdowns. Tony with a touchdown as well. Larry Smith had a few catches in there as well. I think the ball distribution was pretty good today. And then number of tackles for loss for a bunch of different players. Dontrell Cobb, sack for Aziz, sack for Dexter Lawrence, sack for Kayvon Thibodeau, Julian Love, and Joe Hayden. And then two interceptions are the difference in this game for Dontrell Cobb, a pick for Xavier McKinney earlier as well. Force fumbles for Darnay and Joe Hayden, recovered by Aziz Ojolari and Joe Hayden. And of course, Aziz Ojolari and Dontrell Cobb with touchdowns. All right, so okay, I guess we're not going to be in the menu anymore. Uh, here's what I will say. This is a change I'm going to make. I guess we're back to the main menu. A change I'll make so that I don't forget it is I'm going to change the quarters from 12 minutes to 11. I think that's a better option. And I think that's going to really put us in a position um, to score fewer points, obviously. But where is it? Did I pass it? All right, found it. We're going to go 11 minutes and uh, yeah, everything else stays the same. Minimum play clock time, 15 and we got messages as we improved to three and three back-to-back -back wins. As Dontrell Cobb says, I won't speak for anyone else on the team, but I'm pretty happy with my performance this week. You know how elite players always say the game started to slow down for me? Yeah, I finally understand what that means. You missed like eight tackles in the first half, but you did get star dev and 10,000 XP. That's big. Quarterback breakout. Does Cody Bailey get star dev as a result? Coach, another big performance by quarterback Cody Bailey, even with the interception. And you have to be excited about the direction he seems to be headed. And yes, I am. Absolutely. He's proving each week that we can put more weight on his shoulders and proving that we can count on him to be great for us week in and week out. And indeed, Cody Bailey has star dev as well. Although, no XP boost for him? It's not cool. Ooh, breakout LB, breakout DB. Could be a very eventful week against Philadelphia. But we will upgrade players before we end. Aziz Ojolari, I thought he was an 80 overall already. He's only a, a 78. Block shedding would be better for him, I think. So I'm going to do run stop, remove him up to a 79 overall. Block shedding is going to be really important. Plus two block shedding, plus two tackle. That's going to make him a way better defensive end. And Dontrell Cobb, the Don. Two skill points. It's going to bring him up to a... Ooh, he's actually really, really, really close to another one as well. His ratings are good, but they've got to get better, obviously. Star Dev is so big. And he won Defensive Player of the Week. Well, he had a sick week, so it makes sense. His upgrade, I mean, it's got to be, it's going to be Run Stopper. Run Stopper all the way for Dontrell Cobb. What do we got here? Agility 1, Block Shedding plus 2, Play Rec, Strength, and Zone Coverage. I like those. And then Run Stopper again. And that will upgrade block shedding, hit power, strength, and tackling. All good. Again, he's becoming a lot better. Tackling into the mid-80s. Block shedding is now into the green. He just got a ton better. And it seems like there might be a chance he could go up to superstar dev in this next week's game. Super excited for week seven against Philadelphia. But it's going to be a lot tougher to get up to superstar. But check it out. Cody Bailey now has star dev. You love to see it. Getting better every single week. When you check out his stats, the numbers are getting better. Interceptions are coming down, touchdowns and yards going up. Maybe a game or two away from revealing Nick Duvall's development trait. But again, we know it's going to be at least superstar. And Jaden Rhodes, a little bit to go on him. I think they're, I, and I'm guessing here, because I haven't uploaded the episodes yet, but I'm guessing that there will be people that want Jaden Rhodes to play a ton more. He's played well, but I think he's more of a complimentary piece. He's had a good season. I mean, as a second tight end, 22 catches for 239 yards and three touchdowns already is great. Keep in mind, like, half of that production was in one game. I get it. And Derek Cooper, I do want him to see the field more, but I just can't rationalize making him the sub linebacker over Tay Crowder, who was, like, second in defensive player of the year last year. Although it must be said, he has not been the same player this year. Six, inter or six tackles for loss, one interception, uh, 27 total tackles. It's not horrible, right? But it's not the same year. Now, Dontrell Cobb, on the other hand, the rookies played pretty well, uh, pretty similarly, but he's starting to get better. Very similar numbers. Does have a sack, does have 
three times as many interceptions, aka just two more. And we don't have a bye week, it seems, for a while, but that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Dontrell Cobb, NFC Defensive Player of the Week. Cody Bailey Rob, by the way. Packers Jimmy G. What's going on with some of these? But yeah, that'll do it for the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.